What's up, everyone? It's DB, and today we're going to try to get another free huge. I've gotten so many free huges in this game. It's unreal, but, you know, I keep forgetting there are other ways you can get free huges. There's actually over 20 ways you can get free huges in this game without having to spend anything, dude. And today we're going to try all of them, because why not? I mean, huges are getting so up there in value. Like, check this out. So let me just look at some of these. I've got, like, a zebra. Do I have a zebra? Yeah. Dude, zebra is, like, 60 million gems now. So, yeah, you should try to get some huges and try to get them for free and in fact using this list that i just created for this video i'm probably gonna loop this like anytime i jump into pet sim i'm probably gonna go through this whole series and see if i can get a free huge like dude 60 million not bad so obviously we have the active huges up here um right now they are only available in the second world so they're egg 187 so it's in tech world it's the best egg you can you know hatch right now and there's huges all over the place so yeah it's really easy to forget about this so today we're gonna go through all of them and we're gonna do it in order in fact i'm going to chapter it so if you ever want to come back to this and try to like see which huges you need to try to grind for again, definitely bookmark this video, come back to it, and you can, you know, just kind of get a refresher on all the different huges you can get. So we're going to start with the world one stuff first, and that way, if you're just starting in the game, maybe this will help you a little bit. So the first one we're going to try to get a huge from is going to be the daycare. So let's head over to daycare bomb daycare it's going to be on the beach and what's great about this one is you get a chance to get this multiple times throughout the day so we're just going to go and claim all and no dice dude no dice this time but let me just show you so you are aware so we're going to go and um enroll some of my pets here we'll go and do 55 of these and you'll see we have a chance to get the huge amiibo in a spaceship you also get a chance of the huge machine blur dominus egg which gives you a second chance so basically don't neglect the daycare because you might get really lucky with these i mean there's 2700 of these 300 of these 70 of those those. And then obviously a lot of people have these. So I just got to remind myself to do this because I always forget, man. I always forget about the daycare. The next one we want to do is going to be in the castle. We got a couple in here that we can hatch or get. So let's go ahead and combine all these. There we go. And we're going to try to get this huge Westie in here. So let's do like 10 of these. I've never had luck getting a Westie though. I've opened like, I think, I think this one's like maybe one in like 50,000 or something. It's pretty crazy. Wait, on Masteries, I'm just curious real quick. Do you get a better chance of getting uh good loot? I mean, yeah, you get 10% better loot. Open a couple more of these. Yeah, I'd imagine it's like maybe one in 100,000 or so. How many, how many are there? Do I even have a Westie? I don't. Yeah, we'll do one more. But yeah, it looks like there's 48,000 of them. There's a lot of them out there. Uh, no, no dice. The next one we can get is this guy right here. But the problem is you have to make sure he's on the wheel. So the propeller cat is a big deal. Do I have one? I don't think I have a propeller cat anymore. I used to. Yeah, I don't have one anymore. In order to be able to get this, what you want to do is like refresh it until you get it. So the best thing to do is just go out to Trade Plaza. We'll just go to normal. Just go back in. And then we got to do that until it appears. Now, do I have a bunch of spin tickets? I might. Let me see. Oh, yeah, I got like 460 of these. Let's just do it this way. So we see the propeller cat right here. It's 0.1%. Basically, that means after a thousand spins, we we should technically get it right so let's just let's just spin it let's spin all of them oh dude you saw that oh my gosh we almost got it uh sometimes he disappears that's the only downside by the way quick tip for quick spins if you do this you just um spin and then hit f it'll finish it it's like the best way to do like a quick spin now, you could just uh, go back and forth until you have them back up I'm too lazy to do that dude yeah this is not our day Dude, we got so close earlier though. There we go. Here we go. Let's try it. Let's try it. One more, one more shot. One more shot. Yeah, no, no dice. We'll keep trying on that though. We got a lot of keys. We'll, we'll keep trying on that though. We got a lot of tickets. All right. So that was the propeller cat that we were trying to get. Um, they're pretty common. So just keep trying that one. Next one we're going to go to is dig site. So let's type in dig here. We're going to go to the fossil dig site. And this one, you can get a chance for a fossil dragon. And in fact, I believe the chances for the fossil dragon are greater. I'm not 100% on this. Let me know in the comments below if someone knows. I think you have a better chance at the other dig site, but I could be wrong. So we're going to just dig a little bit here. We're going to just open some chests and uh, see if we can find a fossil dragon. Man, we're going far. Make sure we get these chests. So yeah, this is another way you can get a huge. We're going to go as far down as we can. I believe the further you go, the better chances of good loot. We're just going to keep going all the way down until we hit rock bottom, dude. We'll try the next uh, dig site, too. Oh, wow. I think we hit the bottom. Yeah, it's the bottom, I think. All right. So we hit the bottom here. Let's go to the next dig site. See if we can get any luck there. It's right here. Advanced dig site at the dungeon. I haven't really um, done much digging. As you can tell, my currency is really low. Let's see what we can get here. We'll just go in the center. Wow, we're flying. Just leveled up to 40. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we're getting that much here. So let's go ahead and head back up. 
and we're gonna head out we're gonna do um fishing now so with fishing i actually did get a poseidon let me see do i still have it um i got this one i think i bought that one and I know I, I, I think I sold it, but uh, I actually caught one within like 3,000 for fishing. My fishing is kind of up there now. Let's see what we got. We're going to go to the regular fishing first. And then we're going to try advanced fishing. So yeah, here's the Poseidon Corgi. We have a chance to get that. All right, let's see what we got. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get anything good here, though. What's nice is after a while with your masteries, you could just auto click this and leave it going overnight without any special macros or anything. Yeah, I'm not getting anything so far. The loot's kind of bad here too. I think the deep pools are where it's at. So let's go back. We're going to go to the advanced fishing area, which is in Cloud Forest. And if you're curious about deep pools, a lot of people don't know what deep pools are, but that's that's it right there. That's a deep pool. See it? It's like twirling. Um, I'll show you regular and then we'll go over to the deep pool. So regular still has a chance to get the huge corgi or the Poseidon corgi and deep poles have a chance to get a huge well shark. The one thing that's kind of difficult though is deep poles do change locations. So you can't just like keep fishing in the same exact spot. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Try two more of these. Nothing there. All right, we'll try that one and we're going to go to the deep poles. All right, so this is the deep poles. Just click in the area. It works just like regular. The only difference is you have to cast into the deep hole. And if you don't do that, then uh, obviously you can't catch anything in it. It's just going to be regular fishing. It seems like the um, loot is a lot better for these two. Let's see what we get. Just got 500,000 of those. It does take a lot longer, but your masteries are going to help out with that. If you're wondering why I have so little gems right now, it's because I just bought a bunch of XP uh, potions another 500,000. I'm not really sure how many casts it takes before it goes away. We'll keep going until it does, just so you can see what happens. All right, there it goes. It just changed location. So now it's over here. So you got to move around. So it's pretty much an active fishing area. I'm sure there's a way to like macro it. So, you know, you could do like visual readers and tracking and all that. I mean, there's a lot of people that do crazy advanced stuff, but I don't bother with that. I don't mind the active grain. I'm not getting anything out of this. Now we're getting some diamonds here and there, but I'm going to have to work on this more later. The main thing I think I need to do is just overnight this so I can get like that mastery up. Because if you work on your mastery for fishing, check this out. So after level 10, you can pretty much auto click fishing. So it's really easy to fish. And then at level 30, you get the access to the deep poles. And right here, 10% chance to catch a huge pet from deep poles, which is really crazy. And then down here, level 80 is 20% chance. Level 90 is 30% chance. So you really want to get that. Even like, look at this. At max level, 50% chance to catch a huge pet from deep pools. And I don't really know what this is. 2% chance to convert your fishing rod to rainbow, but I guess that's the thing. Now, I'm not sure if uh, Digging Mastery has the same thing. Let's check. Yeah, they do. So yeah, we need to max these out. I think that's the way to go. If we max these out, we have a really good chance to get huges. The next one we're going to do is the Secret Rooms one. This is the Lumi axolotl and the way to do that is just go over to enchanted forest um actually i don't know if that enchanted forest is the best one i would say probably wild west would be the best and you do need secret keys for this obviously we're gonna go in here open that up we'll see how lucky we are i don't know how lucky we're gonna be today but let's just select the middle one yeah boot we got a boot dude that's rage worthy we'll do we'll do like five of them let's we'll keep going to the middle one what was that it just booted me it gave me like a uh decent potion but Man, it just kicked me. Ah, uh, we got swirl poop. It boots you fast now. It used to give you like a moment. Poop swirl. We'll do two more, two more. We got an enchant. Big deal. All right, one more, one more. Ah, boot. All right, we're out of there. No luck there. So now what we're going to try to do is do the chest rush. That is going to be over here. Let's just do chest here. Chest rush number 45. Just going to do a quick run in here. We we have a chance to get this and there's almost 3,000 of them. It looks, seems like it's pretty hard to get. Just run through here real quick. Get some luck on just in case. I don't think any of this has any chance to increase your luck, but people always complain when I don't do it. So let's jump over here. All right. We have a chance to get a huge. So we'll let it roll. I'll let you know if we get something cool here. Man, we got nothing from that. No fire horse for me today, dude. So we got three more to do in world one here. We got chest rush. We're going to do stairway to heaven real quick. So the best way to do that is just go over to the obbies over here, like jungle obby. Find jungle right there. Unless you have VIP, then cool. A little easier, but we'll just do it this way. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump down here. We're going to die and then we're going to hit home. And that's going to make us fall. 
and now we're at the stairway to heaven. So for this one, how this one works, at least what we're told is after a while, each time the stairways generate, there's a chance that you can get a huge. Now, someone apparently recently got this by doing this for like three months straight. And kid you not, like they grinded this, all they did in the game is just grinded this nonstop. And then they got the huge angel dog, which is very valuable because there's not many of them there. So as you can see, let me just go free cam this so you can see what's going on. So as you can see, there's a limit in which we can like see, right? There's a limit to the top here. It does generate over time, but let me just show you the limit. So whenever it generates, it has a chance to create, I guess a chest or something. I'm not really sure how that works. Like I haven't seen it yet, but at the very top here, here's the top currently. The next time it generates, it has a chance to give you like a platform or something. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. I haven't seen it yet. So there's quite a bit of uh, stairways to go, you know, and I, I know there's been people that have done this for like nonstop. The problem is, is if you try to like AFK it, you might miss it and just walk off. So you definitely want to be active when you grind this. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get it. We're not going to get this today. In fact, I don't think I really care about this one that much. <laughs> Not enough to do this nonstop, dude. I'll let all you like crazy nonstop grinders, you know, who have nothing else to do, but climb these stairs. You can, you can get the huge, okay? You can get the, you can have it. I'm gonna go elsewhere. <laughs> Next one we need to do is gonna be the rebirth chest. Now there's a bunch of rebirth chests all over the place and you have a chance to get a huge colorful wisp. I'm, I'm gonna show you a couple of them. So the first one here is classic obby. And pretty much all the obbies have a rebirth chest in them. This one's like the easiest one to get. So you see there's right there, that's a rebirth chest. Um, there's like a timer on it too. I don't know why this obby is so laggy. Let's go and claim it. You see the colorful wisp there. We didn't get it, but recheck it every hour. So anytime you come into the game, I would say just check that one. I'm not sure if the uh, different chests inside the various obbies have better um, odds. Oh yeah, the other thing you could do, by the way, is you can, um, you have a chance of getting it on completion too, not just the chest. So I just opened a rebirth chest, but you can also have a chance of getting a huge colorful wisp just by completing obbies. So let me just try that. We, you never know, we might get it. There we go, rewards, no, huge. Jungle obby also has one. Most of the obbies have a chance with the colorful wisp here. There's also a chest in here. All right, so to the left of here of these axes, you'll see the chest here, just hop over. And then you're going to be able to see inside this chest um, it has a chance for colorful wisps. So let's go and open it. And we got nothing. And of course, you have a chance of getting a huge by completing the obby. I'm, I don't know. I'm not feeling that one today. So I think we're done with world one. Let's go to world two. Maybe we'll have better chances over here. All right. So we got enough for the diamond wheel spin. So what we're going to do is go here and we're going to do diamond wheel spin at tech jungle. This one has a chance at this guy, this huge high tech tiger, and it does change out every now and then. Sometimes it goes away. It is 100,000 per spin, which is kind of painful. It's only 0.01%, which is basically a one in 10,000 chance. And uh, let's just do that. Okay, let's let's calculate this real quick. So it's 100,000 times 10,000. That's basically a billion gems to be able to get this huge tiger. We'll do it maybe 20 times or so. Let's see, let's see what happens. We got some boots. All right. More boots. Dude, you got like an 80% chance to get a boot. <laughs> oh man, it's a golden now. Now I don't think we're getting this. We're just getting a bunch of boots. Boots worth 100,000. Come on. Yeah. Okay. We got three gift bags. That's something. Uh, Mini chest. That's not too bad. All right. I think we're, I think we're exceeding uh, what we wanted to spend now. So yeah, not, not, not enough, not enough for us for sure. So the next one we could do is the chest raid. All right. So we got 24 minutes for the chest raid. We're going to try that so we can get a chance at this glitch cat. I don't think I have one of those. Yeah. And I've, I've ran that raid so many times. I think it's really hard to get it. All right. We got 33 seconds. All right. So we're trying to get this glitch cat in here. Let's get it. So far, nothing. We're just past room 25. And um, I'm really hoping we can get something in here though. With all the runs that I've done, I've never gotten a huge in here. Then again, this uh, this one's pretty limiting because you can only do it twice a day. So I imagine that glitch cat is pretty rare. All right, we just entered room 50 with seven minutes to spare. Room 60, room 80 with four minutes left. I don't think we're gonna get this huge. I think we have to run this like maybe a thousand times, maybe. So we're at room 90, we got a couple minutes left. All right, we just reached room 100. Where's figure, dude? <laughs> I mean, 106 is not too bad. That's about where we're gonna hit. A little laggy being on a shared server. Let's see, did we get anything? Nope, 
go over to the adventure store. There's a, apparently a way you can get this huge firefly here and they're 125 each. You just have to go around and complete all these quests. So see zone 100 quests are done. This one will give me another one of those um, scrolls. So if you go to quest metal, um, that's pretty much how you buy adventure um, boxes. But the problem is with the adventure boxes, you're, you're pretty limited because you're not going to get a lot of these. And so they should be pretty viable for players. Let's open one and let's see what happens. Oh, wow. We got a lot of pinatas though. That's like, that's that's 20 pinatas. That's pretty good. Let's go over to the treasure hideout. There's another great area. It's right here, number 159. And in this one, you have a chance at the electric cat. Now I do have an electric cat. It's a golden one I traded for. So yeah, I've got one of these and it was traded for. So I didn't actually earn that. Let's go in. This one's like 30 minutes and then you have a chance of getting it, obviously, during this time through loot. I don't think we're going to get it. All right, so it's been 10 minutes. Uh, I don't think we're going to get the huge. I've done this so many times, man. Typically, I do for the clan battles because we got these clan quests. Um, you can see right here, break 72,000 breakables and treasure hideout. So the nice thing about this portal is it stays open. So if you leave it, you can always come back to it, which is really nice, especially if you're like in the middle of questing. Pretty helpful. Right over here, you have the tech spinny wheel and there is a chance to get a huge in here. So in Inside the tech spinny wheel, you have a chance to get an abyssal ex axolotl. I have not seen it like in here at all. And I've I've done like, I think a thousand plus tickets. It just never shows up. Oh, here we go. It shows up right when I don't get it. <laughs> Come on. Oh, dude, it was right there though. Oh, now it went away. Let's see if we can get it back. There's a way to do it, dude. Just close it right when you spin it. Yeah, we're not getting anything good out of this. Especially the axolotl. We might have to try like maybe one of these days we'll just buy a bunch of those tickets and we'll open like 10,000 of them and see if we can get the thing. The other one we have over here is the cyber agony from the tech chest. I guess for a while it was kind of crazy OP. Um, I need a tech key for this. Do I not have any? Oh, there they let me let me make a bunch. There we go. So we'll open like five of these. There's no way I get one though. We need to get like 20,000 of these. Maybe I'll do a follow up video on this just opening chests. That was a pretty good haul right there. Nice. Pinatas. It's actually pretty OP. I think they buffed it. I got another pinata. Got a lot of value here. We'll do one more. One more. Yeah, nothing. We didn't get anything good. So another place we can go is to the claw machine. Let's go to the claw. And this one has a really cool huge in it. I really want this huge. The downside with the claw is there is a cooldown. Let me just show you again. But uh, this one is the arcade dragon. So let's just go and use it. Uh, right there. Um, that's a pretty good spot. Let's just do it. Come on, grab it. Let's go. Don't fall. Don't fall. Okay, we got it. All right, so we got this. And inside of the arcade egg itself is the dragon. So you technically you don't even need to use a claw machine if you do want to just go and use a bunch of diamonds to buy a bunch of those and try to open them. I might have to do that. Here's the uh, egg here right there. They're only 11,000 each. And I'm sure if you got like 10,000 of these probably have a really good chance granted i don't think that uh huge is worth it you never know you might be able to get a bunch of them but yeah claw machine is a great way to do it it's also a free way to do it so let's see if we get this arcade thing let's just open one of these nope we got a dick hair voucher though another great way to get a free huge is by the global events and we do have a global event gift we're gonna open and you have a chance to get the uh huge lunar moth these are like you gotta break four randomly spawned jars and you just gotta see if there's any around the map typically so if you see a randomly spawned jar anywhere and it doesn't have to be just inside um tech world if you see an announcement saying there's a, a coin jar event see there's one in mothership circuit board so that's over here and someone may have already broken it. So you just got to complete all of these. And then once you complete all of them, then um, get this thing, which is worth 24 million. It's not bad. So I'm going to go and open it. We're probably going to get a bunch of trash. But that's why most people do not open these and they just sell them because they're definitely worth more to sell than to open. But let's see what we get. Here we go. All right, we're getting diamonds. Like 200,000 diamonds. Not worth it otherwise. Again, you have a chance to get a huge. That's why most people like that. I would just sell it. You get like three of those, you got a huge. And finally, number 20 here. Let's go to tech spawn. This is the active huges. So I do have a huge hunter already. Let's see, where is it at? Right there. It gives me 62.50% uh, basically increased odds. I also have shiny hunters enabled. I've got the super shiny hunter here. You could put a regular huge hunter with it. I don't have them because I sell them all. But what you also want to do is just make sure you have this guy right here, the huge potion, because temporarily increases your active huge luck by 300%. So do that. And then this as well. Now 
Now this doesn't really affect active huges, but I always do it anyway, just in case. And then I also just make sure I have this, even though it doesn't affect them. So let's just hatch a little bit, see if we can get anything. Let's do like a couple thousand of these. You never know, dude. Imagine. We've been unlucky so far though. Yeah, no luck today. So thankfully I have a lot of huges here, so I'm not really too worried about it, but it is nice to get some free ones because it is free money, dude. 60 mil. That's all you gotta do is just hatch one of those, but just don't do what I did. Don't open gift boxes and stuff. Global event stuff should be sold. I mean, 24 million, the adventure loot boxes, you should sell those. Don't be dumb. Oh, you know what? I totally forgot about the hype egg. Now you have to join the update 10 minutes like within the first 10 minutes of the update being released in order for you to even be eligible for this egg and then once you complete the requirements i think they require you to be like in the update for like an hour after that within the first 24 hours or something weird or 12 hours anyway that's how you get this hype egg is you have to be at the updates at the time of release so we're just gonna go ahead and open that just see what happens i'm not gonna get anything good out of this yeah usually they're trash pretty pretty underwhelming but yeah don't do what i do just actually go and sell those things if you get gift bags or anything like that save up your diamonds and then just go buy your huge <laughs> that's the way to do it anyway thanks again for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next vid